Hello, my beautiful angels. This message is very specific, and it's not for everybody. It's for those of you who identify as a chosen child of God. If you've been led to this channel, it's not by accident, God's hand is on your life. This message is for those of you who have walked through the wilderness with the Lord Jesus Christ, been transformed through that process, and are deeply connected to God. You've clung to Him when there was nothing else to hold on to, and you've given your entire life to Him without hesitation. The revelation I've received is going to surprise you. God will make you rich and famous, and here's the twist, is going to do it because you don't care about being rich and famous. You've given your heart, your dreams, your time, your entire existence, to God. You didn't come to Him asking for wealth or fame, you came saying, all I want, Lord, is to fulfill the purpose you sent me here to do. Use me as you will. And because of your humility, God has chosen you to carry great influence and abundance. In this episode, I'm going to break down exactly what this means and what God has in store for you. You may not have expected what I'm about to share, but stay with me, everything is about to make sense. Before we dive in, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment with the number 77 to signal the universe that you are ready to align with this word. Play this video on repeat to absorb every ounce of energy and power from this message. Let's make that signal so strong that every blessing with your name on it finds you. Chapter 1 The Wilderness Prepared You for Abundance The wilderness season you went through was not a punishment, it was preparation. God had to strip away every illusion, every crutch, and everything that wasn't aligned with your purpose. This was a season of pruning, not to harm you but to refine you, molding you into the person you were always meant to become. The wilderness may have felt like a dark and barren place, where old identities, habits, and relationships fell away. But what looked like loss was, in truth, divine alignment. God was clearing the path for the new version of you, or a version fully ready to walk in purpose and abundance. This season challenged you in ways you didn't expect. It forced you to confront your insecurities, face rejection, and endure disappointments. Many nights, you felt isolated, as though no one truly understood what you were going through. It seemed like doors were shutting in your face, opportunities were passing you by, and the things you once leaned on for comfort began to crumble. But it was in those moments of brokenness that God did His greatest work in you. Every time you hit a low point, He was right there, holding you up, whispering, Trust me, I'm preparing you for something greater. In the wilderness, you were stripped of superficial desires. The pursuit of money, status, and approval from others began to lose its grip on your heart. You discovered that none of those things could satisfy the deep longing within your soul. The emptiness you once tried to fill with achievements or material things was meant to be filled by God alone. And so, piece by piece, you surrendered your need for control. You let go of the urge to chase after worldly success and finally opened yourself to God's will. That's when everything shifted. This process wasn't easy, it broke down your ego and humbled your spirit. You learned that being strong didn't mean doing everything on your own. It meant being dependent on God. You stopped striving and started trusting. You realized that in the wilderness, God wasn't punishing you, He was positioning you. He was teaching you how to rely fully on His presence, not just when life was good, but when everything seemed to be falling apart. And in that surrender, you found a peace that surpassed understanding. God became your source of joy, your comfort in the storm, your provider when resources ran low. The wilderness was not a place of stagnation, but a place of transformation. The same way gold is refined by fire, God used this season to burn away anything that didn't belong in your next chapter. Old mindsets had to go. Toxic relationships couldn't come with you. Even parts of your identity that you once clung to had to be released. What emerged from this process was a new you or a version stripped of pretense, ego, and fear. 
you may not have realized it at the time, but with every tear you cried and every battle you fought, God was preparing you for something extraordinary. Because you endured the wilderness, your heart is now aligned with God's heart. Your desires have shifted from selfish ambitions to a longing to fulfill the purpose has placed on your life. You no longer ask, what can I get? But instead, how can I serve? That shift is the key that unlocks the door to abundance. When you truly stopped caring about what the world says is valuable and focus solely on God, you became ready to receive everything He has stored up for you. Now that you've walked through the wilderness and come out on the other side, God knows He can trust you. He saw your faith when no one else did. He witnessed the moments when you chose to pray instead of give up, to trust instead of doubt, and to keep moving forward even when it felt like there was no way out. And because of your unwavering faith, you are now ready to step into the blessings that are waiting for you. These blessings are not just about wealth or fame, they are about influence, joy, and impact. They are the fruit of the lessons you've learned, the battles you've won, and the character you've developed. This new season is one of abundance, but not just any kind of abundance. It's an abundance that flows from within, a deep, unshakable knowing that God is your provider and that His timing is perfect. You won't have to fight for these blessings the way you fought through the wilderness. They will come naturally, effortlessly, because your heart is now in alignment with God's will. You are no longer attached to the things you once thought you needed. And that detachment is exactly what positions you to receive all that God has for you. You've proven to God, and to yourself, that your faith isn't dependent on circumstances. You praised Him in the storm, worshipped Him in the wilderness, and trusted Him when nothing made sense. And now, because of that faith, God is going to open doors no one can shut. He is going to pour blessings into your life that you didn't even know to pray for. Opportunities will come, connections will form, and resources will flow, not because you chased after them, but because they were always part of God's plan for you. Looking back, you'll realize that the wilderness wasn't just a season to endure, it was a sacred space where God prepared you for the abundance you're about to walk into. Every trial you faced, every tear you cried, and every lesson you learned was not in vain. They were all part of the divine setup, preparing you to carry the weight of the blessings that are now on their way. God is not just giving you abundance, He's giving you sustainable abundance. The blessings coming your way won't be fleeting, they will last. And because of your time in the wilderness, you'll know how to steward them well. You won't hold them or misuse them because you've learned that everything you receive is meant to flow through you to bless others. This is not just your harvest, it's a harvest that will overflow into the lives of everyone connected to you. So, my beautiful angels, take a moment to breathe and reflect on how far you've come. The wilderness is behind you now, and what lies ahead is greater than you could have ever imagined. You are not stepping into abundance by accident, you were prepared for it. You were shaped for it. And now, it's yours to receive. God is about to show you what happens when faith meets preparation. Get ready, because the season of lack is over, and the season of overflow has begun. Chapter 2 God's plan for your wealth is bigger than you think. When God blesses His chosen ones with wealth, it's never just about material gain, it's about purpose. The abundance He is bringing into your life is connected to something much larger than you. This is not just about having more money or living in luxury. God's plan for your wealth is about expanding His kingdom, blessing others, and bringing light into places that need it. He has seen your heart, your faithfulness, and your willingness to obey, even when no one was watching. That's why He knows you are ready for this next level. Wealth, in God's eyes, is a tool. It's not the goal, it's the means to accomplish something far greater. And because you are not attached to wealth, He can now trust you to manage it well. Your humility makes you the perfect vessel to carry these blessings. You've been stripped of any desire to hoard or misuse what He's about to give you. The years you spent with little, 
trusting him for provision, trained you to understand that money doesn't define you. You've learned it that the only thing that truly sustains you is his presence. That kind of wisdom is rare, and it's precisely why God is positioning you for abundance. God is about to pour into your life in ways that will shock you. You won't have to beg, hustle, or manipulate doors open. He will position you in places where opportunities flow naturally. Divine connections will appear, people who will recognize your value and open doors you never thought possible. Resources will flow your way because God is aligning you with assignments that require them. Your wealth won't just come from one source, God will send it from multiple streams, ensuring that you are equipped to carry out His will with ease. And here's the beautiful thing, because you aren't obsessed with wealth, you will use it wisely. You'll invest in people, ministries, and causes that align with God's heart. You'll become a channel of His love, pouring resources into places that desperately need them. This is what it means to be rich in God's kingdom. It's not about stacking money, it's about stewarding it with purpose. This wealth will feel different from the kind that the world chases. There will be no guilt attached to it, no fear of losing it, and no anxiety about how to manage it. Why? Because you know that everything you have comes from God, and everything you give away is multiplied in His hands. This abundance will be marked by peace, joy, and a deep sense of fulfillment. And the best part? You won't have to change who you are to receive it. God is blessing you precisely because of who you've become, a person who doesn't need wealth to feel worthy or fulfilled. Your wealth will carry influence, but not the kind that puffs you up or feeds your ego. God's favor on your life will attract others, not to you, but to Him. People will look at your success and wonder, how did this happen? And when they ask, you'll have the chance to point them to the one who made it all possible. Your testimony will inspire others to trust God, not just for material blessings, but for a life of true purpose and joy. God's plan is perfect. He has been preparing you for this wealth all along, even when you didn't realize it. Every financial struggle, every season of lack, and every moment of frustration was shaping you into someone who could handle the weight of these blessings. He didn't give up, even when it felt like there was no way out. And because of your faith, God is about to open the floodgates of heaven over your life. Get ready, because this wealth will not just bless you, it will overflow into every area of your life. Your family will be impacted, your community will be uplifted, and the people around you will experience the goodness of God through you. The wilderness may have been long, but the abundance will be even longer. God is not just restoring what was lost, He is multiplying it. This is the kind of wealth that leaves a legacy. So stand tall and walk confidently into this new season. You were prepared for this. God's hand is on your life, and He is about to show you what happens when faith meets favor. The wealth coming your way is not just a reward, it's an assignment. And because your heart is in the right place, you will steward it with excellence. Chapter 3 Fame will follow you, but it won't own you. God is elevating you to a level of influence that will attract attention, but here's the catch, fame will follow you, but it won't own you. This fame isn't the kind that the world chases, it's the kind that comes from being aligned with God's purpose. Your life will become a testimony of what happens when humility meets favor, and people will take notice. But because your identity is rooted in God, this fame won't change who you are. The fame coming your way is not about being admired for the sake of admiration. It's about visibility with purpose. God is going to place you on platforms where your voice, your story, and your influence will have a profound impact. You won't need to fight for attention, God will place you in the spotlight, and people will be drawn to the light that shines through you. Fame can be a dangerous thing if it isn't handled with wisdom, but God knows that you are ready. The wilderness humbled you, and the lessons you learned there will keep you grounded. You've seen how empty fame can be when it's pursued for the wrong reasons. 
That's why this fame won't own you, it will serve you as you serve God. This influence will come with responsibility. As more people look to you, they will also look to the God you serve. Your life will become a living example of His grace, love, and power. And because you aren't attached to fame, you won't be tempted to misuse it. Instead, you use every opportunity to point others to Him. You'll find that this kind of fame feels different, it's marked by peace, not pressure. There will be no need to perform or pretend because God is the one who placed you here. You'll move through life with a quiet confidence, knowing that your worth comes from Him, not from the applause of people. Divine connections will also play a key role in this season. God will align you with people of influence, not just for your benefit, but for theirs. Your humility and authenticity will be a refreshing contrast in a world obsessed with status and image. And as you remain true to yourself and to God, these connections will open doors you never thought possible. This fame will come with blessings, but it will also come with challenges. Not everyone will understand how you got here, and some may even question your motives. But stay focused on God's plan. Remember, you are not here to please people, you are here to fulfill your purpose. Let their opinions fall away, and keep your eyes on the one who called you. Chapter 4 The Freedom of Not Caring About Wealth or Fame There is a profound, unshakable freedom that comes with no longer caring about wealth or fame, and this freedom is your superpower. When you surrendered your desires at God's feet, you unlocked a peace that transcends understanding, a peace that the world cannot give and can never take away. You released the need to prove yourself, to compete, or to chase after the things society values most. And in doing so, you aligned yourself perfectly with God's will, positioning yourself for blessings beyond anything you could have orchestrated on your own. While others struggle to climb ladders, striving for validation and recognition, you stand rooted in divine purpose, unbothered by the pressure to keep up with worldly expectations. This is the paradox of divine favor, because you no longer care about wealth or fame, these very things are being drawn to you. God is pouring out abundance, not because you desired it, but because you chose to pursue Him instead. You sought after the giver, not the gifts, and now the gifts are flowing freely to you. This freedom changes everything about how you navigate life. You are no longer swayed by trends, achievements, or comparisons. The opinions of others lose their power over you. While many chase after things that never seem to satisfy, you move with confidence and ease, knowing your value doesn't come from wealth or fame. It comes from your relationship with God. And this deep understanding allows you to enjoy blessings without being enslaved by them. When wealth and fame do find you, and they will, they won't own you. You are no longer defined by material success. You've already learned the secret that many never discover, true abundance is found in seeking first the kingdom of God, allowing everything else to follow in divine order. Your heart is at rest, not consumed by anxiety over what you have or don't have. And because of this, you are now in the perfect place to receive more than you ever dreamed possible. This new season will be one of effortless flow, joy, and alignment. You won't have to manipulate circumstances or strive for success, God's favor will do the heavy lifting. The same favor that rests on your life will carry you into places and opportunities you could never have imagined. Doors will open effortlessly, connections will align, and blessings will multiply, simply because God knows He can trust you with abundance. This freedom is your greatest gift, and it is the reason why wealth and fame are being released over your life. God knows your heart is unshakable. You've shown that your identity is rooted in Him, not in possessions or public recognition. And because of that, you can be trusted with blessings that others might struggle to handle. There is no need to strive. Every blessing is coming to you without force, just as God intended. The peace you found in surrendering your desires is precisely why God is choosing to elevate you now. 
you are walking in the assurance that what is meant for you will always find you. And in this beautiful dance of faith and favor, you are free to enjoy the journey without attachment. In this season of overflow, you'll know with certainty that it wasn't the pursuit of riches or fame that brought you here. It was your pursuit of God. And as you move forward, you will carry this freedom in your heart, unbothered and unshaken, ready to embrace everything God is placing in your hands. This is the beauty of divine abundance, it flows effortlessly to those who no longer need it to define them. Chapter 5 Divine Timing is Unlocking Doors You Didn't Know Existed God's timing is perfect, and the season you are stepping into will prove that beyond a doubt. Every delay, every no, and every closed door you experienced in the past was part of a divine setup. You might not have seen it then, but God was aligning events, people, and opportunities behind the scenes, waiting for the exact moment to unlock them. The doors that are about to open for you are not random, they are strategic, tailor-made for your purpose. This is the season where everything will begin to make sense. You'll realize why certain relationships didn't work out, why certain jobs fell through, and why you had to walk through seasons of isolation. God was building you, strengthening you, and preparing you to walk through the doors that are now swinging wide open. Nothing you went through was wasted. Even the mistakes you made were used to shape your character and teach you valuable lessons. The key to this season is discernment. Not every door that opens is meant for you, and not every opportunity aligns with God's plan. But because you are deeply connected to Him, you will know which paths to take. The Holy Spirit will guide you, giving you peace about the right choices and caution about the wrong ones. You don't have to fear missing out, what is meant for you will not pass you by. What's coming will be beyond anything you've imagined. Doors will open that you didn't even know existed. People you've never met will seek you out because they've heard about what God is doing in your life. Opportunities will come from unexpected places, and resources will flow freely. This is the season where divine favor will make things happen that would have been impossible in your own strength. And here's the amazing part, you won't have to force anything. God's favor will do the heavy lifting. All you need to do is show up and say yes to the assignments he places before you. What once felt difficult will now feel effortless because you are in the flow of God's timing. The opportunities coming your way will align so perfectly with your gifts and passions that you'll know without a doubt they were meant for you. This is not just about you, your obedience to step into these doors will impact others. There are people connected to your purpose who need what God has placed inside of you. When you walk through the doors His opening, you bring them with you. This is how the kingdom of God works, your breakthrough becomes a gateway for others to step into their own destiny. Prepare yourself because the pace of this season will be faster than anything you've experienced before. When God moves, He moves quickly. What took years of effort in the past will now happen in moments. Connections will be made, contracts will be signed, and dreams will be fulfilled at an accelerated rate. You'll have to stay grounded in God's presence to keep up with the blessings flowing your way. Stay humble, stay grateful, and stay ready. God's timing has brought you to this moment, and He will continue to guide you every step of the way. The doors that are opening for you now are just the beginning, greater things are still ahead. You've waited, you've trusted, and now it's time to walk boldly into everything God has prepared for you. Chapter 6 Wealth and Influence are part of your assignment God is not just making you wealthy and influential for your enjoyment, is doing it for His glory. The blessings His pouring into your life come with an assignment. You were chosen to carry this wealth and influence because God trusts you to use them with wisdom and purpose. Your life will become a testimony that points others to Him, showing what happens when faith meets favor. The influence coming your way is not for vanity, it's for visibility. God is placing you in positions where your voice will be heard and your actions will be noticed. You will be a light in places that need it, an example of what it looks like to live a life surrendered to God. 
and because your heart is aligned with his, you will use your influence to uplift, inspire, and encourage others. Wealth is a tool, not the destination. God is blessing you with resources because there are things he needs you to build, people he needs you to help, and causes he needs you to support. Your wealth will flow into ministries, communities, and projects that reflect God's heart. You will become a channel of his generosity, pouring out blessings wherever he leads you. This assignment will stretch you, but it will also fulfill you in ways you never thought possible. There is deep joy in knowing that your life is making a difference. Every dollar you give, every opportunity you share, and every person you bless will have eternal significance. This is what it means to store up treasures in heaven, using earthly blessings to create spiritual impact. The influence you carry will also attract people to God. As they witness the peace, joy, and purpose that mark your life, they will want to know your secret and you will have the privilege of pointing them to Jesus. Your success will not be just about you, it will be about leading others into their own encounter with God's love and grace. This is a sacred assignment, and God has chosen you for it because He knows you are ready. The wilderness taught you humility, the trial strengthened your faith, and the waiting refined your character. Now, you are prepared to carry the weight of these blessings without being crushed by them. Remember, the goal is not to accumulate wealth or influence for yourself. The goal is to steward these gifts in a way that glorifies God. As long as you keep your eyes on Him, the blessings will continue to flow. And the more you give away, the more you will receive, because that's how God's kingdom works, the abundance multiplies when it is shared. Chapter 7, Walking in Overflow and Leaving a Legacy This is the season of overflow where everything you prayed for, waited on, and trusted God for is being released in ways that exceed your wildest expectations. Blessings will come faster than you anticipated, wave after wave of favor, and greater than you ever dared imagine. But this overflow isn't just about you. It's designed to impact everyone connected to your destiny and leave a mark on generations to come. God is entrusting you with more than enough so that you can create a legacy of faith, generosity, and transformation. Living in overflow means having more than abundance, it's having a life so full that it spills over into every corner, your finances, relationships, opportunities, and influence will all be marked by increase. But what makes this season truly special is the peace that accompanies the blessings. You won't feel anxious or pressure to cling to what you receive because you know exactly where it all comes from. God is your source, and He will continue to provide, again and again, without fail. This overflow is an invitation to build something meaningful and lasting. God is giving you the resources, wisdom, and influence to create a legacy that will outlive you. Whether it's a business rooted in kingdom principles, a ministry that transforms lives, or a family built on faith and love, your impact will ripple through generations. These blessings are not just temporary rewards, they are the foundation of something much bigger, something that reflects God's faithfulness to the world. You were chosen not just to receive overflow, but to become a channel of it, blessed to be a blessing. Your life will testify to the power of surrender, showing others that when we release control and place our trust in God, we open ourselves to divine abundance. The blessings that flow through your life will inspire others to trust God with their own dreams and encourage them to believe that He is able to do exceedingly and abundantly beyond what they could ask or imagine. This season will change how you move through life. Opportunities will find you, doors will open effortlessly, and favor will surround you like a shield. You won't have to strive or struggle, God's blessings will pursue and overtake you. Everywhere you go, His favor will make room for you, and what is meant for you will align perfectly with His plan. This overflow isn't just about material wealth, it's about living with purpose, joy, and peace, knowing that you are walking in everything God prepared for you long before you even knew to ask for it. This is your time to walk boldly in faith, to embrace every opportunity and gift that comes your way. Don't shrink back, and don't second-guess yourself. 
you are equipped, anointed, and empowered to live out the fullness of your calling. The influence, wealth, and connections you gain will be tools for impact, not trophies of success. Your legacy will not be measured by what you accumulate, but by the lives you touch, the faith you inspire, and the love you leave behind. God's favor over your life will never run dry. This is only the beginning. The seeds you plant in this season will flourish far beyond your lifetime. Your family, community, and everyone you encounter will be blessed by your overflow. You are leaving a trail of faith and transformation, a legacy that points back to God's goodness and power. This is your time to walk confidently and joyfully in everything God has prepared. Don't hold back. The best is not just coming, it's here. The overflow is already flowing into your life, receive it with open hands, live it with purpose, and pass it on generously to those who need it. God's hand is firmly on your life, and His favor is endless. You were chosen, prepared, and appointed for this very moment. Now, walk fully in the overflow, knowing that what you do today will echo for generations. My beautiful angels, as we come to the end of this message, let it sink into your spirit, you were chosen for this moment. God is moving you into a season where wealth, influence, and overflow will flow freely, not because you chased after them, but because your heart is aligned with His. You surrendered everything, and now He's entrusting you with everything. This is your confirmation, the struggle is over. The waiting season has expired. You are stepping into divine alignment, favor, and ease. Doors you didn't even knock on will open, opportunities you didn't ask for will find you, and blessings will flow in unexpected ways. God has seen your heart, and because you don't care about riches or fame, He's giving you both to serve His purpose. Stay humble. Stay ready. Continue walking in faith, gratitude, and boldness. Everything you touch will prosper, not because of what you have, but because of who God is in your life. Remember, this isn't just about wealth and influence, it's about leaving a legacy that points others to His glory. If this message resonated with your spirit, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe, and drop a 77 in the comments. Let's send that signal to the universe and align with this word. And watch this video on repeat, so the energy of this message continues to flow in your life. Every time you hear it, let it activate your faith a little more, because this is the season to move with boldness. You are walking into overflow, wealth, and influence, but it's not for your glory, it's for God's. And because your heart is in the right place, you will prosper in everything you do. I love you, I see you, and God loves you even more. Until next time, stay blessed and favored. Your time is now.